Accessories Manager allows us to add multiple parts to the rails to animate the gun and to check co-witnessing. Once you come in here, if you have a gun that has rails on it, you can rotate it to see the different rails that you can modify. Over here we can add select parts. So let's go ahead and throw on an optic. Right here you can choose the type of optic that you want. We'll go with a red dot. The red dots will load up much the same way they do in part select. Um, so if we want to go ahead and just grab a vortex strike fire, click on it, see some basic information, and we'll go ahead and select it. In here you can drag around and move any place within the space. This is good, but we need a mount. For certain optics that have mounts that are specific to them, like this 30 millimeter mount, we can go ahead and come up here and hit this add mount button. Add mount will smartly take the optic you have selected and filter out the mounts that won't apply to it. Here we'll go ahead and grab this 30 millimeter mount. You'll see the parts go red right now, that's just because they're conflicting. If you grab the part and drag it on, they'll actually mount together, creating a mount group. This is now considered one object, unless you wanted to detach them, in which you could hit the detach mount button. This will split them back up, but for our sake, we're going to keep them together and mount them on the gun. Construction will snap your mount to the rail, finding the closest Picatinny slot. Here you can see it's snapping down. You can also move certain scopes within their mounts. So now let's add a foregrip. Once again, just click on the add, select the category you want, and select from your selection. You'll see that the foregrip starts out upside down. That's because it's trying to orient to the top rail. However, if you drag it down where you need it to go, it'll reorient itself automatically. If you want to throw some rail covers on the side, simply rotate the gun, click add, select the cover you want, and drag it down where it needs to go. You can also take the last part you have selected, it'll show up right here, and just copy the part. This is an easy way to duplicate things like rail risers, or rail covers, or any other part that you want to duplicate. Now that we've got all that attached, maybe we want to animate something. If you look down here, you'll see the animate button. Clicking this will take you in to a view where you can rotate around the gun and see green parts that are animatable. Clicking here will animate the stock, you can fold down iron sights, set the safety lever on or off, and all kinds of other things depending on the parts attached to the gun. If we go back, you can also co-witness. Clicking this button allows us to view down the gun. If you left click and drag up and down, you can move your head up and down until you get the right co-witness. If ever you don't want a part, simply grab it and either click or drag to the trash can.